All right, welcome back, guys. Today we're playing some more Picaram. As you guys probably know by now, I like Picaram, and decided to pair uh, pair with something new. Clay, Clay is the engine for this one. Um, gets you energies in the discard pile. It finds you E switches. It finds you switches, air balloons, turbo patches. Uh, Clay finds everything except for boss, mostly that we need. Um, so that's we're gonna be trying it with that. Um, yeah, it's not bad. I like it. It's probably my favorite, uh, favorite version of Picaram right now. I uh, just took over some counts though. We got two Crobat, uh, in case we pitch a Crobat uh, with the Clay. There's always a second one. The one on Bolton, in case we miss Coco or a Bolton as an attacker with the Bolt Storm attack, is pretty nice. So we have one of him, two Dedene, uh, three Picaram. We can't be pitching Picaroms off of the Clay. So we got uh, up the count on Picaram from two to three. We got the. <laughs> The uh, broken Tapu Koko Prism Star as well uh, to get the energy acceleration. It's not bad, and then the one of Coco V that I've included in all of my Picaram lists. He hits for a clean 200. It's not a GX attack. Uh, has free retreat cause, and he's only a two prizer, as opposed to another Picaram, which is tag bolt does 200, but it's a GX attack. So you can only use it once. He has three retreat cost. And he's also three prizes. So if you go full blitz onto another Picaram and go, um, and then that Picaram gets knocked out, you go uh, Tag Bolt, clean up whatever, like I said, in Scorch, ADP, Eternatus, um, whatever, what have you, right? With Tag Bolt, then Picaram gets knocked out. That's game. You don't have, you can't attack anymore because they took all six of their prizes. So we switch to Coco, uh, does the same thing. It's not a GX attack. So you can still Tag Bolt, you can still. Yeah, you can still tag bolt, you can still um, for the full effect, and you don't have another Picaram in the active at the end of your turn, which is in three prizes. So I like to include this in all my Picaram lists now. It's kind of nice. <laughs> um, then we got three E radars. Uh, that's just for consistency. It finds you Dedene, it finds you Picaram, and yeah, it just allows you to start drawing cards. So you go like Dedene into Crobat into Clay. 12, um, it's probably the sequence you're looking for. Two energy spinner. Uh, energy spinner was a staple in Picaram before when it went for that turn of full blitz. Uh, people were starting to cut it because you can't really full blitz anymore. But we're going to try to. Uh, can't really full blitz turn one anymore. But we're going to try to. So submerge back in then to find energy. Uh, four E switches is a must. I uh, would like to add in the tag switch, but we don't really have the up uh, higher counts of tag teams. So we're not playing Choo Choo anymore because we don't really have the pivots. We're just trying to go fast and aggressive. So I cut. The tag switch, um, ordinary rod to get back to the Dene's crobats, um, peak rounds you might have pitched, and energy as well. You can pitch a lot of energy off of clay, so um, we want one of those. You can't pitch ordinary rod off of clay because it would just go to hand. So that's nice to have one pal pad to get back to the boss that you might pitch with clay. Uh, three Pecom also finds you Coco, finds you V Pokemon. Um, the Pokemon that radar doesn't find you, uh, Pecom does. So just more outs to Coco Prism Star before we clay is what we're looking for with that. Uh, four Quick Ball, of course, um, just consistency. Four switches for pivots. To, you gotta move this peak around to get it to the bent or to the active uh, once you have the energy on it, the full blitz. Four Turbo Patches. Uh, like I said earlier, you pitch a lot of energy. You can actually Turbo Patch to Bolton, Coco, and Crobat, and then E-Switch off. So if you prize Coco, you can actually double turbo pads, double E switch, and still attach and full blitz, which is kind of nice. Um, four boss, right? We just need those gust effects late game and whatnot. Trying to get that, uh, um, get the full blitz off and then tag bolt, like tag bolt to Dene, Mawile, tag bolt, Crobat to Dene, things like that. Uh, it's really nice late game, so we just need four. We pitch a lot with clay and Dene and stuff, so just have to have four. Uh, once again, for clay, use the main draw support of the engine. Uh, discard the top seven cards of your deck. If any of those cards are items, put them in your hand. Um, so energies aren't items, so you can pitch the energies, and you can get the E switches and switches into hand if you already found Coco, which is what we're going for here. Two air balloon. Um, it's nice to switch into something that has like two retreat cost. So if you start peak around, you have to switch them out in the active and then put one of these guys in the active. Hopefully not Coco Prism. Um, and you just attach air balloon to that, which is like a nice pivot to have, and then retreat and full blitz. It's like a switch that just like stays there. So if you like go data change the switch away, you don't have that pivot anymore. 
but if you have air balloon and attach air balloon to active, you still have that pivot, which is kind of neat. Only two speed energy um, in here. It's nice to draw, be able to draw cards, but we're really looking for the basics. You can't Coco Prism uh, speed energy. You can't Turbo Patch a speed energy. Um, yeah, so that's the list. And then 12 basics, because we really go through a lot of energy with clay and whatnot. Um, so we just want to get them, we want to have more of them and get them back with Ordinary Ride. So yeah, that's the list so far. It's kind of neat. I like it. Uh, some inclusions that I would like, that I have seen before. Um, I do want a great catcher. To be able to great catcher up like ADP or something of full blitz before the GX is just so detrimental to their game plan because you just tag bolt before they set up any energy, which is kind of neat. We can just full blitz again and then tag bolt the following turn, depending on how they set up. And then, oh, some Rodon phones and gurus is um, some like another list that I've seen. I think I could pull it up real quick for you guys. Um, yeah, so guru is kind of nice. You can pull back pieces that you would want to draw into before you did a change, say like um, E switch. It also allows you pairs well with Rodon phone or guru. Yeah, Ro go. Rotom phone, Rotom phone, and Guru pair well together. Jeez, I can't. <laughs> My bad, guys. Can't talk today. Um, Rotom phone also pairs well with Speed Energy. You put something to the top. It's one of the new cards out of Champion's Path. Look at the top five cards of your deck. Choose one of them. Shuffle the other cards back in your deck. Then put that card you chose on top. So if you're looking for like E Switch, um, Switch Air Balloon, you just put it to the top. And draw into it with Speed Energy. It pairs well. Um, or Primal Wisdom. Just put a card from your hand back on the top your deck and draw whatever you put there with Rodon phone which is kind of neat so that's another list I've seen um, not quite a fan of it doesn't go as fast yeah uh, does not as consistent I guess but I like to try it out uh, something I'm working on still testing the deck it's pretty neat so yeah all right the first one's going up against a fire um, fire deck here it's not bad uh, we do want to win the coin flip and choose to go second. Almost games, if not every game. Cool, we went first. It looks like it is a fire deck, which is not great. Um, so now we just kind of start Coco. Um, radar away is probably the quick ball and boss. Go get Pikaram into Dene. Just kind of set up from there. Um, yeah. Get boss, quick ball. Pikaram and Dedenne. Speed energy to Pikaram. Just looking for an energy at this point. Nice, we found the energy. Um, just kind of want to hold this hand now. I'm going to just go data change. <laughs> Might as well, right? Yeah, data change here. Get the energy in the bin. Just looking for like a pivot, a clay energy switch. There's the pivot. Uh, could actually Turbo patch to Coco heads, retreat Coco, and leave Dene in the active, which is kind of neat. See, we would have had the uh, terminal full blitz if we went second tier. Um, now we can pop Coco, switch back into the active, um, E switch, or retreat back into the active, peek around, and then E switch off the energy, and we would full blitz, but we're going first tier, so now we just kind of pass over to our opponent and see what they have. Switch, yeah, switch back into the active, retreat back into the active, back into the active? No. <laughs> retreat Pikaram, retreat to Dene and put Pikaram in the active, is what I meant to say. There we go. Uh, yeah. I see what our opponent has. They're probably looking for like a uh, Volcanion turn one, which is like. <laughs> um, so I like to turn one goals here. appear to be doing anything at all. I did find a research. It's kind of neat. Um, they can't attack turn one with this man. 
Uh, he does take four energies. They could GX if they get enough fire in their discard pile, but so far just um, Poke Gears. Quick ball, there's probably the Volk. Ooh, a Reshi Sword. All right, all right. Not bad. There's our six prizes if we were to try to map that out. It'd be Reshi Braxton's hard into Reshi's hard. Um, yeah. All right, Hearth and Well. Did you have? Um, do you have a support for next turn, which is kind of neat. What else are we thinking here? I don't play any disruption. There's no stamp. There's no Marnie, so they will forever have all those cards. So we just kind of want to go fast. Um, next time I'm trying to find Coco V for sure. Um, he's my next target to try to set up. Also Bolton as well. Just flood that board with energy. That's what I'm really looking for. I think I'm probably going to Radar away. Mm, probably the E-Switch and energy. Go get to 10A or something. Peek around is nice. Um, I actually go get, peek, get rid of Peek around. I don't want to be able to knock out Peek. Knock out Peek. Um, that would be unfortunate. So we're going to go energy peek around. Go ahead, peek around to 10A. We also have another peek around as well. <laughs> go speed. That's too many energies that I want to get rid of. So now we're probably just going to full blitz to ourselves. Oh, and we misplayed. Cool. Well, we can still decide to pop Coco and switch. There we go. I doubt they could knock me out. Well, they do play Vitality Band, so they well, yeah. I doubt they can knock me out, but I don't want something to full blitz too. Yeah. It's, uh, I can't do it to change all these energy away. That's too many energy lost. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine, so I press three energy. And do find the Great Potion. We could still tag bolt to get KO. That is a lot of uh a lot of energy though committed to peek around. This is where the Coco V would be nice, because we could probably just switch. If I had a misplay, we could just switch into the uh Coco V and hit for two hundred. Interesting. So I'll like to a pass turn there. Mm, I'm gonna attach peek around. You switch to the Dene. And full blitz again. Just put, a, put uh, more damage on board. Next turn we can tag bolt uh, for the KO here and there if they don't find another uh, way to heal or something like that. Which would be nice. Let's switch into tag bolt. I, should, I think they might be playing hyper potion. Hyper potion would be not great for us. I could just hyper potion this, and then we have to go through that again. But we could just uh, tag bolt here, put 170 on the benched Braxton Zard, and then clean up with this peek around if they don't find a way to heal. All right, just go into the Brilliant Flare for 180, 190 with the Vitality Band. Now we just switch tag bolt still, <laughs> tag bolt for game. All right, it's the power of peek around. Here, switch. We didn't even have the energy switch as well, which is kind of neat. Uh, Tag Bolt GX for six prizes. And that's Peak Room. <laughs> we didn't get the clay, we didn't get the turn on full blitz. We would have had the turn on full blitz if we went second, but they might just go first. So, I'm gonna pull that off for you. Let's see if we find a game we can go second in. <laughs> Alright, get into another one here. This is looking like a turn of this. Let's see if we win the coin flip. We did. Uh, we'll choose to go second. We can turn one full blitz, hopefully. All right, not a bad start. We can go get uh, Coco V of this Pcom, and then just kind of grow bet for some more. Mm. Our radar top deck would be nice. We could also get radar off of um, Crow bet. That'd be kind of neat as well. So we draw here. Yes. To Dene. Alright, alright. So now we're probably just going to um, Pecom back the Crobat 
go get Coco, and then just data change after we bench some things. <laughs> Top deck air balloon as well. I right, so Pecan, bad Crobat, Crobat, go get Coco Prism. Oh, we did prize two Picaroms. All right. That's good to note. Oh, there goes Peak. Did I change? All right, we did get the terminal full blitz off. Glorious, you'll love to see it. That'll be a donk as well. So we go pop Coco. Go there and there. You switch off. And attach, attach to last energy. And just full blitz for the KO. And that's the uh, peeking around for you. Hopefully, <laughs> try to find a video where we can uh, try to find a game where we can choke clay. Ooh, that's a lot of coins. All right, getting into another one. Let's see if we can use clay to set up that turn one full blitz heads. When the coin flip, we're gonna go second. All right, this is looking pretty good. If you divide a switch. We did get the spinner as well. This is looking a pretty good start. Assuming we could keep our hand and we're up against uh, what appears to be ADP. This is where the great cash might come in handy. Uh, we'll like to draw a card. Yes. That allows me to find Coco. Coco V. <laughs> so we're going to spinner. Get um, probably three energy. Radar right away two. Go get to Dene. I'm probably going to try to Crobat first, so we're going to go, um, our, ideally our board state is going to be Picaram, Crobat, Coco V, Coco Prism the active, and then Data Chains before that. Kind of want to keep this E-switch in hand. What are they doing over there? Um, looks like they're just doing some things. Just ADP things. They are down on Metal Saucer, which is kind of neat though. Alright, two radars. Spinner for two. Let's see what we got in here. Coco V, Crobat is in here. We do have one air balloon. Four switch though. Go with two energy now. Gonna get rid of this. Um, start with the radar. Peek around to Dene. And a quick wall of our radar. Coco. Quick wall away. Quick wall. Go get Crobat. Oh, I want to attach first. Then Crobat. So I'm looking for a switch here. Turbo Patch works as well. I can actually retreat. Nope. <laughs> Alright. Like now we just uh, did it change. We're looking for clay. Look for clay here. There it is. Clay. Nice. Switching to Coco V. We did get the terminal full bits off, which is kind of neat. And we have uh, some of the full bits too, which is even better. Energy switch up the crowbats. To peek around. No more retreats. Use this turbo hatch right away. Tails. Three. Six. Ten energy. So I have two energy to be able to full blitz with. Alright. That's not great. One energy because we prized one. That can go on the Coco. <laughs> hopefully we get Marnied. He's not going to Marnie us, but hopefully to put these energy back in the deck. That is a lot of energy to not be in the deck. Forward hand. <laughs> Alright. Oh, they're playing clay as well. Cool. See who has a better clay deck. <laughs> Looks like they got there. They just need a wider energy. They could also catch her as well. Switch. Ideally, I would have liked to full blitz onto this uh, ADP here. 
but I don't play Greg Hatcher. Might have to add that in there as in one of. They're just going to go um, KO to dead egg, KO Crobat. There it is. We do have the switch though. It's kind of neat if they get heads. I would like something to refresh in my hand, but these unfortunately these energies are stuck in my hand. There's the water. I'm just gonna go full blitz here. There it is. I have no more energy left though. Uh, next one, I'm gonna try to set up the tag bolts. Unless they tag bolt us, we have a tag bolt, and then clean up with one of these guys off the energy switch to the active. Then we just need to find a way to clean up uh, Crobat or the Dene. Or like a rod. Rod would be nice. Right about now. Yep, there goes the catchers. We're gonna cast up to Dene. And Ultimate Ray. I think we just lose this one, unfortunately. I can actually get Tails. There you go. Tails again. Nice. Come on, just Tails. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so. Yeah, let's see how this goes. I don't actually have a follow-up to, um, what's it called? We could actually spike draw that. Go tag bolt, um, station, and then spike draw it, and it won't have an attacker, theoretically. Probably five, and then we just have to set up I have three cards in hand. They would go four. How many saucers are down? Down three saucer. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, eight to energy. Alright. I don't hate that. Boss. Attach. E switch. From here to there. And then just a uh, tag bolt. Okay, the ADP. And we do find a turbo patch. That's kind of neat. Um, looking for turbo pads because we probably so many, or don't have any energy left in the deck. <laughs> not prize. Well, we have we can manually attach, but I'd rather not manually attach. All right, Brave Blade. They do take a knockout. They just have to take one more knockout. But <laughs> let's see how this turbo patch goes. <laughs> we have a saucer attach. It's not quite it. Throw patch. Heads. There we go. Attach. Air balloon. Retreat. And spike draw for 20. <laughs> it does take a KO though. <laughs> Let's go attach. KO. Some, there we go. We got the clay. And grow bat. Cool. So we can like move stuff around. The only thing we can't KO is this. We do KO these things. So we just have to find boss next turn off this acrobat. And they concede. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, we got the victory over ADP. That'll do it for this video. Um, that's Clay Peek around for you. Uh, it's kind of neat. One of my favorite decks in the format. So, yeah. Make sure to tell me how you did. Or <laughs> how, how we did in the comments below. Tell me your thoughts, what you're thinking. Um, yeah. Have a good day.